Hey folks, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Today is going to be Monday, uh, March 30th, and I'm looking through my emails, and well, I get a lot of emails. Uh, I'm signed up with a bunch of online vendors and like gun guys and like other sort of things, and uh, truthfully, my, my, my inbox gets hosed. But today, I was looking through, and of all things, uh, one of my absolute favorite places to look around for stuff, and they have some really just amazingly good specials. Is a place called Natchez. I read Nancy, Alpha, Tango, Charlie, Hotel, Echo, Z as in Zebra. And they're called Natchez and Natchez Shooter Supply. So Natchez.com, nothing crazy there. And today's special that caught my eye is, of all things, it is probably one of those kind of cool things. You probably should at least have something similar in your toolbox, literally. And I'm going to show you just a quick picture here. It's going to be the Lee Breech Lock Hand Press. And I'll just flip your picture right here and now. Okay, so we're back. And essentially what you're looking at there is you're looking at literally a loading press. So pretty much no great rocket science involved there. You take said rock, rocket science involved object, not at all. You simply screw in a loading die. You put a case in there because it's got a case holder and everything. Eat, knock out the old primer, reform the case, leave the case in there. Uh, I believe that you can do it with the... Yeah, no, actually there's, there's another device in there. It's like you have to switch something around and actually put a primer inserter in there. Then you basically put the primer in there, you rack it one time, get the primer in there, pop that device back out, lock it back in the shell holder, and then you basically load in your powder, put your bullet in there, screw in the bullet seating die. First one was actually the the first die, reformed the, reformed the case to be you know fired in a nice tight chamber from its previous expanded and out of spec dimensions. And... What you do is you basically then put the bullet in there and you have that last die that when you, you know, squeeze the handles closed, it pushes the bullet in there and then crimps the neck on there so the bullet doesn't fall back out. So essentially you now have essentially a factory loaded cartridge. Now, you have those people going, well, how good can these things possibly be? Okay, the guys that actually shoot hardcore bench rests, and I do mean hardcore, like F-Class. I do mean like unlimited. I do mean like those 60-pound monsters that, you know, shoot incredibly tight groups. So the guys are basically shooting, you know, for all intents and purposes, a highly precision cannon. You know, and they're just racking the bolt, basically eyeballing the scope, make sure it didn't roll, squeezing the trigger. And they're not even really touching the gun. It's just on rails or something or on sliders. It's really advanced stuff. F-Class, I mean, it's really, really hardcore you know, rifles built to the absolute limits of, you know, factory guns to be tight enough or hand them off to your, your gunsmith and he'll do it. But those guys use these one shell at a time loaders because what they can do is they can get the high precision by simply working them by hand and they can load the same 10 cases, you know, those cases that they knew by aggregate measurements, literally these guys go to the length, depth, and breadth where they basically go, okay, I'm going to measure every single powder charge down to, the, down to the, like, you know, trickling the individual granules to it's like absolutely perfect charge. I'm going to weigh the individual cases to make sure the cases are within like, you know, tenths of a grain in terms of case weight. I'm going to weigh the bullets to make sure the bullets are within like, you know, absolute as minimal a change in disparity between any of these components. Uh, these guys take it to the absolute nth degree. So when they resize their cases, usually all they really do is they squeeze the neck just enough to hold the bullet and they minimally resize the case because they want the case to hit the chamber the same way every single time. Now, what's that do in terms of what you're going to be doing? Like, you know, worst of time, zombie apocalypse, what have you. Think about it. This thing, basically, a couple dies, a box of primers, or a whole brick of primers, container or two of powder, and you're talking something about the size of like, you know, pretty much like a lunchbox. It really is not a lot of stuff to carry around. Also, the weight penalty for this, for this whole thing, all up and, you know, carrying everything, including the bullets, will probably weigh less than 10 pounds. For you to have something on the order of able to reload at least three to 500 cartridges. More if you're talking small pistol, or you're doing light loads, or you're doing gallery loads, or you're single loading, or you're working the bolt, or you're against, you're basically working a cartridge just down low enough that where well, the gas system's not working, but you're either straight pulling the action or you're working the bolt manually. All these things are absolutely things that you can do. Now, if you want to go with the other route, if you want to go even slower, but absolutely as well, 
you have these things known as the Lee loaders. Now, this one's an older one. This one's a 45 ACP. Of course, this one's mine. But these things to be used, you have to have either a rawhide hammer or a soft hammer. We are not going to case in, not going to case out, not going this thing, knocking that out. You're basically doing all these other things. Now, one guy that you can actually see doing these things on all the time is a gentleman by the name of Log Cabin Looms. And I watch his videos all all the time he's an older gentleman he hand loads all his ammo and this guy knows it been there done that got the t-shirt well you know he, he's literally the guy and you'll see him literally take a cartridge fire it knock out the old primer put it back together using a lee loader then go up oh, well i'm gonna try this charge now and he's like scooping the powder and you know basically leveling it off and he's actually using the scoop for the consistency versus a way type of measurement now, the scoops do work, but the thing is, you've got to know which powder you're using, and you got to be really careful, or you get a really hot cartridge, and you blow yourself up, blow your gun up, not good, not good, not good. Be very careful in that regard. I'm going to break off of this one, folks, but you know what? These smaller loading devices read like the Lee Loader or the Lee Breach Lock Hand Press, and the hand presses are still around. You don't have to get the, uh, the Breach Lock. There's plenty around. You simply just screw in the dies versus like the quarter turn guys for the Breach Locks. All that stuff is out there. Great technology. Can save your bacon in bad times. You don't have to carry around a whole loading press. I'm going to break up on this for folks. Eat good, keep it centering as always, always. Ammunition is never that bad a deal when you basically are rolling your own. Good times. See you guys. Urgh.